This is Morgan Hazelwood, back again with more writing tips and writerly musings. Today, I'm here to share with you my final panel from Balticon 53, The Future of Podcasting. Now, podcasting has had its ups and downs since it first started. The market is big, but there's a lot of small fish out there and it's hard to get some traction. At the titular panel at Balticon 53, Mark Redfield, Mike Luoma, Philippa Ballantine, Christiana Ellis, and Fred G. Yost discussed where podcasting has been and what they hope and fear we'll see in the future. So what is podcasting and where did it come from? Podcasting, for those who are unfamiliar, is, quote, from... Google, um, the practice of using the internet to make digital recordings of broadcastings available for downloading on a computer or mobile device. Typically, it's something you can subscribe to. Traditionally, these were audio only, but some are on YouTube. Caveat, I do have a vested interest in this topic, the Anansi Storytime and other Legend Smith productions that I help voice are podcasts. And technically, you could argue that this vlog is a podcast, especially since I've been considering downloading the MP3s and uploading them on a server. But anyway, let me know if you want me to. But anyway, mini podcasts grew out of the audio dramas from radio of yesterday. And these really capitalize on the strengths of the format. Some grew out of blogs, surprise, surprise. And some grew out of more traditional radio or radio talk show approaches. So podcasting itself has gone through several phases. It started off as a nerd thing, and then it was Oh my God, there's podcasts everywhere. And now we're getting to the point where people are like, oh yeah, podcasts, they're normal, like TV. So podcasting is at this point far more democratized than traditional media. But there is the fear that as it gets bigger, it will become more corporatized, regulated, and controlled, like the internet. So where is podcasting going? To the best of my knowledge, none of the podcasters were time travelers or gifted with foresight. So all of these are clearly educated guesses, wishful thinking, or fears. So first, there is a lot of fan content. Some imagine that will only grow. There is a feeling that the podcaster clubhouse was invaded by infomercials. But the money's not there, at least not right now. So this may be temporary. Uh, Niche marketing, however, with the big bucks from the corporations is a much bigger concern and it's competing with homegrown content. If I had a producer and music and a sound guy, this would probably look better and more polished and someone else would be writing the script or something or editing it. Corporations and old media, for the most part, though, are just porting stuff wholesale. And this doesn't always risk work, um, and they are risk adverse. So that might help keep them out of the podcast market for a little while longer. Patreon is already helping support podcasters, or at least help subsidize some of the equipment. Very, very few podcasters are making a living off this. Subscriber podcasts are definitely coming to other medias. Some are now on a podcast thing called Luminary, which I know very little about, but it was mentioned during the panel. So there's a link below. Podcasting is becoming mainstream, as I already mentioned. And there is the fear um, in the future that a lot of the popularity is driven by commutes. Commuting stinks, and a lot of us have very long commutes. As self-driving cars and work from home become more prevalent, the audience might shrink. Although it's great for while you're working out or doing chores, but that's less predictable than traffic. So tips for podcasters. 
first off, of course, is you need consistency. Uh, publish regularly if you can, uh, and pick a tone and voice. Have people know what they're tuning in to listen to. If you change up your tone and format all the time, you're gonna lose viewers because they're not gonna know what to expect. Secondly, don't be generic. You have to show your passion. Third, don't chase trends, grow your community. Don't be like, oh, hey, the people are over there. They're, they're just gonna stay over there. You want to, to interact with the people who are there. And I like interacting with you. Um, so professionals having fun does a lot better than a clean, polished lecture. Where do I fit on that spectrum with my blog and video format? Let me know if it's working for you. Clearly you're watching, so hopefully it does. Um, another tip for podcasters. Tip five is don't tie all of your media into one service. The host might change the rules and flush your content. Thank you, Tumblr. Or they might decide that you've violated some terms of agreement or someone's reported you even though your stuff is totally fine and your content gets deleted. Have backups. And another tip is if you record a long segment, don't be afraid to break it into sections. A part one and a part two can be good for driving more viewers who might have missed the first one to listen to parts one and two. And that was the end of the panel. There's only so much that we can know about the future. Let me know what you think the future of podcasting looks like. What other sorts of podcasts do you like to listen to? And that's all for today. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button and share it with all your friends. It goes a long way towards helping people find me. And I'll be back again next Monday with more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.